Hello, Elite Teamers! This week marks our 10th week of pushing limits and getting in our weekly winter workouts. I am so proud of every one of you. A quick shout out to the Romark U14 squad who did the workout last week and sent some photos and video. Way to go, Coach Matt Brown and crew! Hey, March is here and the days are getting longer and hopefully sunnier. However, there is still plenty of on snow time for you ski racers to make gains in your technical and mental skills by taking advantage of time on snow. Have a goal for every day, whether it's mastering a skill or trying a new skill for the first time. And it may be championship season, so that means preparing fully, visualizing success, pushing your limits, and learning from every result, good or bad. All right, today's workout will not only get you stronger, but will also give you confidence. Hey, lastly, I just wanted to tell you that Kelly and I are creating a new Dig Deep online training program that launches this summer. So stay tuned and get ready for awesomeness. Today, we're gonna to start out with a good warm up, do some brain agility, work on your overall strength and finish with some core and some American downhiller burpees courtesy of rookie Eric Arvidsson and Bryce Bennett from their Salbach race. All you need is two pair of poles, so let's do this. Okay, let's get started. Always with a warm up. Getting the blood flowing, getting the body movement, stretching out the muscles, tendons, ligaments, and also getting our brain ready to focus. So we're gonna do how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight warm ups for 30 seconds each. It takes four minutes. So we're gonna start out with sevens. I don't know if you remember them from last year, last week. Starts like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Holding that leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, here we go. Uh, P1 and start. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. High knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Nice, get that rhythm going. Again, trying to get that blood flowing. Getting that body ready to push itself because we have a fun one today. All right, next is mountain climber inchworms. Start up, go down, do a mountain climber. One, two, three, four, five, and back up. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll do seven. Down, stretching out those hammies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Next, jumping rope. All right, here we go. If you have a jump rope, grab it. I actually have one over there, but it's easier just to do the fakie. Double jump. Double jump. Or a double swing. Whatever it is. After this, we're going to do side lunges. Keep jumping that rope. All right. Here we go. Side lunges. Feeling that stretch in that inner thigh. Stretching the back, hips. Everything gets loose. Go as low as you want. This is not the workout, just the warm up. All right, try to keep that going. All right, now we're doing toe kicks. Start with the right leg. Whoa! This one is a struggle for me to keep my leg straight. All right, right leg, now switch, left leg. Next up, we're gonna do jumping jack presses. Go check it out. Really stretch that leg on these toe kicks. All right, jumping jack presses. Two more after this. Good one, let's do this. Next up, we're gonna stretch our calves. Always good for ski racers because our 
calves are stuck in those boots. Never stretch them out. Calf pumps. Stretch it. Awesome. Here we go. You can take a little longer on each one. Really stretch that calf and Achilles. And our final warm up is going to be bicycles. I always like to make sure we get our core warm because the core is key. Low and slow. Next up is a fun agility test. Test your brain and your body, which will be really fun. All I need is two sets of ski poles. So after this, go get them. And good. All right, I'm warm. How about you? Get myself a little hydration, some electrolytes, and Get ready. Next up, fun agility brain test. All right, after that great warm up, we're going to train our brain with a little agility work. So you need four poles, two sets of ski poles, broomsticks, whatever you can do. You're going to use a tic-tac-toe pattern with you standing in the middle. So you see this pattern. It's gonna stand in the middle, this is your home base. And once you have this design, you're gonna visualize that it has the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in that circle. Starting with the upper left is one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My assistant, Kelly, say hi, Kelly. Hello, Dougie. Uh, she's gonna yell out numbers. You have to, while standing on one foot, is put your foot in that number. So this, she may say one, and I put my foot in one. Now, the thing that makes it a brain teaser is she's only gonna say one number, but you have to build upon the sequence. So she may say one, and I would go one. Then she's gonna go four. I'm gonna go one, four. Then she may say six. One, four, six. And it's gonna build. We're gonna do it two times together. So press pause and set up your thing and then come back. Or if you're ready, here we go. All right, Kelly, I am ready. I'm gonna stand on my left foot. All right, go. Three. Three. One. Three, one. Eight. Three, one, eight. Five. Three, one, eight, five. Two. Three, one, eight, five, two. One. Three, one, eight, five. Two, one, four, three, one, eight, five, two, one, four. <laughs> Bigger. Bigger. So that's six numbers. It gets tough. All right. You get it? Let's try it again. Um, I'm going to stay on my left foot because I'm better with that. Um, but if you, you want to work on your other foot, okay. that needs a little help. That, that's a great point. I'm going to stand on my right foot and work on my weak foot. Thank you, Kelly. You're welcome, Doug. Right. Happy to help. On my right foot. Do it with me, everybody. Visualize one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Right foot. All right. Go. Take a deep breath. And four. 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 Four, four. One. Four, four, one. Eight. Four, four, one, eight. Two. Four, four, one, eight, two. Three. Four, four, one, eight, two, three. Five. Four, four, one, eight, two, three, five. Woo! So much tougher on my right leg. All right, everybody. Now. Way to push your limits, Doug. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, Kelly. Now, uh, I'm gonna get the piece of paper and we are gonna test you. So you can't watch me, it's all you. Breathe, visualize your numbers. I didn't even know if there was an eight. Sorry. <laughs> I think everyone didn't know. There it is. Here we go. For you guys at home. Two. Six. Three. One. Eight. Three. 
four. How'd you do? Give yourselves a thumbs up. That is for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There is eight. Awesome. Super fun. You can have competitions, whatever. Here's our last brain teaser. All right, new numbers for you. Use your other leg, your weaker leg, because here we go. One, three, one, six, one, two, eight. All right, great job everybody. That's our agility. Now we're gonna work on our strength. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that is a fun little exercise to train your body and your brain. Now it is time for the strength workout. We're gonna do five rounds. I know. We're gonna do five exercises with a minute or two between each of those rounds. So strength workout, push through it hard as you can. Stay with me. So here are the five exercises. First is called around the world lunge. So one of these around the world lunges consists of a forward lunge, a side lunge, and a back lunge. A forward, side, and back. All right, we're gonna do five of those. We're gonna do 15 rock presses or gallon presses. So if you wanna use a gallon of water, I'm gonna use a rock. Knees slightly bent and presses. 15 of those. All right, that's definitely gonna to be tough. Then we're gonna move on to 10 dips. So get yourself a chair or a side of a couch or a table, dips. All right, do as, uh, go as low as you're comfortable. Next, we're gonna do five of the other side around the world lunges. So right side. And then we're gonna uh, end with five push-ups. Okay, those are the five exercises. We'll do them as fast as we can. Five rounds of those with a break in between. All right, here we go. Starts with five around the world. So we're gonna work the left leg. That's the one that's gonna stay um, stationary. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Let's do it. Three, two, one. All right, five of these. One, two, three, four, Thing is to remember to really stride it out there. Five, five, five. All right, you ready for uh, rock presses or gallon presses? One, two, three, four, five, six. Full range of motion. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I'm feeling it. 13, 14. 50, nice job. Now 10 dips. All right, here we go. One, two, three. If you can only do quarter dips, that's fine. Five, six, seven. Otherwise, try to hit your butt on the floor. Eight, nine, 10. Okay, now we're doing the other round the world lunges on your other leg. One, two, Three, you don't want to hit anything. Two. Three. 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 Four. Focus on that form. Four. Four. Five. Five, I'm feeling it. Five. And now for our push-ups. Five good push-ups. Elbows tight. One, two, three, four, five. All right, that's round one. Good job. I'm gonna start the timer for the rest. Do 60 seconds rest, two times 30. So a couple of things. Think about form on those lunges. When you go forward, make sure then you go far enough that when you have your lunge, your knee is over your foot, all right? For the push-ups, 
super okay to do knee push-ups. But if you're gonna do knee push-ups, don't have your butt up, stretch it out, and really reach for those knees. All right, one more 30 seconds and we'll get going. So stretch out with those lunges. Do knee push-ups if you want, I don't care. Um, and uh, figure out a nice weight for your um, rock presses. All right, here we go. 10 seconds. Round two. Four, three, two, one. Around the world lunges. One. Good form. Stride it out. Two. Three. Four. Good form, everybody. Awesome. One more. Five. All right, next up is rock presses or gallon presses, or if you don't have any weight, uh, don't use any weight. Get 15. See if my, lead, my knees are slightly bent. Six, seven, head is up. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, all right. Now, and for our dips, a little bit of arm work today. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze that core, six. <clears throat> 10, all right. Now, our opposite lunges. All right, I'm gonna stride, here we go. One. Whoa, almost all over. Two. Three. Four. Big stretches. Big, good form. Five. Five. And five. All right, now our good, perfect push-ups, all right? Keep it nice and strong. One, two, keep those elbows close. Three, challenge yourself. Four, five, nicely done. All right. One minute off, that's round two. So, you know my goal for everybody on these weekly winter workouts is to not lose all those gains that you made in the fall. Fall seems a long time ago, but you worked hard in the fall. You got stronger, you got fitter, and you don't wanna lose that just by focusing on skiing or lacrosse or basketball all winter. You wanna maintain your fitness goals, your fitness gains, but also potentially build muscle, all right? If you're doing this workout, the elite team workout two times a week, you're probably gaining muscle, which is awesome. So. Keep it going. And as I mentioned in the open, it's championship season. You could use that extra muscle for extra confidence. All right, 10 seconds before we start. Starting out with around the world lunges again. Five, four, three, two, one. Good form. Two. Three, you will feel this in your glutes and hammies. Four, more than your quads the next day. And five, one, two, three. All right, that's five. Now rock presses. I'm gonna go with water this time. Here we go. Seven, why do we work our arms as athletes, if we're skiers or runners, for total body fitness. You want a balanced body that works together. And I think that's 15, hopefully. All right, dips, dip de dip de do. 10, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. These are perfect for starts, nine and 10. All right, other side around the world lunges. Here we go. Breathe every time. Out, ready? Four. Breathing is a huge part of working out. Whether you're trying to amp up or relax. All right, push-ups. Make these elbows tight. Really push it this time. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Boom. All right, a minute off. That's number three. Two more rounds. So I gave a speech to Gould Academy this past week about, you know, you're two thirds of the way through the season. What can you do? How can you learn from what you've done, but also push further? The biggest thing about learning from what you've done is think back. All of you are better skiers, technical skiers, athletes than you were in the fall. So you've made gains, acknowledge that, but also look for those failures. Where have you had those tough times that you can learn from? Did you do your skis? Did you forget your equipment? Are you doing the focus before every run? All right, look back to learn so you can make the most out of the rest of the season. And the thing, the second thing is there's one month of skiing left. If you're a ski racer, one month, right? So make some goals. What can you do from March 7th to April 7th to improve your skiing? This is not a throwaway end of the end of the ski season. This will be a productive ski season for you. All right, next month. Here we go. Round four. All right, round the world lunges. A lot of people don't take advantage of the awesome skiing in March and April to really work on those skills. Maybe pick a new skill that you've always wanted to learn and make it a goal this month. One more, here we go, five, two. All right, rock dips. Go back to my Ingemar rock, 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, I'm going pretty fast, I gotta slow down. Ten, one, two, three, four, five. All right, dips. Here we go, legs straight. Kiss that butt on the ground. Two, three, four, All right, other leg, lunges, stride them out. One, two, work on that form, mine's getting a little sloppy. Done. Now for the toughest ones. Again, if you want to do knee push-ups, that's okay, but reach out further. Here we go. Keeping that body straight. Two, three, four, five. I'd rather see excellent knee push-ups than super bad form on regular push-ups. All right. One, more round. I'm gonna take this time to warn you that Bye Bye Burpees this week are gonna to be tough because I made a pledge to do as many burpees 
uh, as the U.S. men's speed team wins in points each time they race. Well, on Saturday in Salbach, Eric Arvidsson got his first top 10 and Bryce Bennett was 10th and that added up to 52 burpees. So I will be doing 52 burpees as bye-bye burpees. If you'd like to do only 10, that's fine. You want to join me for 25, join me for 52, that's fine. I'm just warning you, bye-bye burpees are going to take a long time. All right, here we go, our final countdown. Final strength round, so push it. Here we go. Focus. Here we go. All right, one. Really stride it out. Good form. Three. Three. Four. Four. Good ones. Finish it. Five. 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 All right. I'm going to go for the rock for my final rock presses. Again, you can use lighter weight, any way you any weight you want. Backpack, your little sister, your little brother, whatever you can do. I lost count, so let's go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Say goodbye to the rock. Last steps. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, here we go. Munges around the world. Try not to touch that foot down when you come up. So think about balance, like a dance. Not touching it, going out. Not touching it. Going out. Good balance. Four. 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 Last one. Good form. One. Two. And last one. Whoa! I had it and I fell over. Alright, last one. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Perfection. Four. Five. And we're done. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Great job. Now, if you're a U16, a U19 who's feeling like they want to push it, do another round. Do two more rounds. All right, just make sure that form is good and you give it your all. All right, get a drink. Next up is core before the bye-bye. Okay, time to work probably the most important set of muscles in your body if you're an athlete. Your core. The cores are not just the ab muscles, right? It goes from your shoulders down to your knees. The core initiate, builds, supports every movement that you do, especially as a ski racer. So always fit in some core. We're gonna do five minutes of core while we watch some US ski teamers kicking butt on the World Cup. The last one you're gonna see is uh, an elite teamer. Michaela Schifrin, she went to Elite Team when she was 11. Uh, elite Teamer winning her 45th slalom on the World Cup. So we're gonna start with just some crunches. So on the ground, get ready, follow along, here we go. We're doing a Tabata, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You don't even have to go that high on the crunch, all right? Just get those shoulder blades off and squeeze, squeeze, all right? May not hurt now, but it will. And rest. We're gonna stick with the crunches. Stick with the crunches. Here we go. All right, back up. Squeeze it and press your bottom of your back into that floor. If you get tired, just watch some ski racing and get psyched. Visualize for the next time you are crushing it on the glare ice, in a course, with a uh, championship on the line, rest. 
We're gonna do one more of those. We'll do three sets of everything, how about that? Just making it up as we go, here we go. Last crunches. Remember to breathe. You can't help but hear me breathe. All right, next up we're gonna do, uh, let's do cherry pickers. So you're gonna lay your be straight up, as straight as you can get them. And we're chicken, we're picking cherries. Toe touches, cherry pickers. All right, keeping that shoulder blade, upper body up off the mat and squeezing. And I'm already hurting big time. I'm gonna fight through it. All right, rest. Oh, I got a little cramp, total cramp. All right, we'll do another two sets of cherry pickers. All right, here we go. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Should feel rock hard if you're doing it right. Try to get those legs straight, which mine are not, but I'm working on it. And rest, all right. One more of the cherry pickers. Here we go, up, last set of cherry pickers. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go, last set, four seconds, three, two, one. All right, next up is bicycle. It's one of my favorites, as you guys know by now. Hands behind your head, you're just gonna go elbow, to the knee, super slow. Don't touch the ground with your feet, but super slow. I'm feeling it, my core is crushed. And rest, that's the first bicycle, we're doing two more. Here we go. Nice and slow. All right, last bicycle coming up. You got this. When in doubt, just watch skiing. Here we go. Last set of bicycles, and then we've got three sets of fish flutter kicks. I'm burning. All right, hands under your butt, and we're just gonna do flutter kicks. Do as small or as big as you want. Try to keep those legs straight, point those toes. Breathe. Nice job, you're killing it. Burpees are next, I hate to tell you how many we're gonna do, but we're gonna do a lot. Oh, cause I, oh, oops. Did I do that wrong? Nope, here we go. And go, two more sets. Uh, we're gonna be freestyle right now cause my clock ran out. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, we're gonna do 20, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, rest for 10 seconds. This will be our last core. Push through it as you watch Michaela Schifrin crushing her win, her 45th. All right, here we go. One, two, 20 of them, three, four, slow, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. You got this. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh my God. 
Let's roll over and stretch it out. Roll over and stretch it out. Oh. Nice job. And nice job, Michaela. All right. Get a drink. Get ready for a lot of burpees. This is week 10. Great job, everybody. Way to push through the good warm up, getting that body warmed and ready. The agility fun we did. Good strength workout, five rounds. Some tough core, and now we're doing our bye bye burpees. And this is for the American downhillers. I'm gonna do 52. You guys do 10, and then hang on for as long as you want. Here we go. I'll do 10 at a time. Here we go. One. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten. If you're gonna head on out, thanks. We'll see you next week. Ten more. 11, 12, 13. These are for the American downhillers. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Who's still with me? 21. 22. 23. 24. 25. 26. 27. 28. 29, 30, go with me, awesome, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 40, awesome, dig deep, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. I'm gonna admit that I really don't know how many I'm supposed to do. Is it 52, 54, 56 for Eric Arvidsson? Congratulations for him in his top 10, first top 10, and Bryce Bennett. So, as always, if I'm a big deep elite humor, I'm just gonna go more. Let's do 10 more. Make it an EV60. Yes, here's to you, American Downhillers. 51. 52. Dig deep, deep. This is grip training right here. Three, four, five, five more. Six, seven, eight, 59, 60. Awesome. 
Congratulations, if you stuck with us, that's how you build grit. That's how you build resist resiliency. That's how you get mentally tough by pushing your limits. Get a drink, stretch out. We'll see you next week. Thank you.